Now, one, one other thing that I really like to do is find any way that I can to shorten my code because I hate it when I just have massive, um, you know, numbers of lines of code. And, you know, if I can just shrink it in any way possible, keep it more readable, uh, that's something I like to do. And one very, very silly and simple thing that um, I like to do is shorten some of these expressions or you know make a reusable uh, function or something to shorten them so I'm just gonna do this private function because we want to return a value I'm just gonna say not empty and I want to check the text as a string and return a boolean value so as boolean I just want to see if the string is empty or not, okay? And it's essentially this chunk of code here. Um, I just think that's that's long. If you have to do this, you know, we're, we're doing this one time here, uh, maybe two as we go along, but if you have a full-blown application, that can, you know, that makes a lot of characters extra work, in my opinion. Um, so I want to just return exactly what I'm doing here. So I'm going to say return not string dot is null or empty and I'm going to use my text for my parameter here and just pipe that in and uh, that should give me the same result as this and it just knocks off a little bit of length so I can just say uh, not empty. All right. And that should still work. Yeah. Good, good. All right. Fix that. Check it out one more time. Oh, yeah. That's nice. Okay. So, what do we want to do next? We want to be able to perform a search, a uh, wildcard search on our database and return specific values. Uh, this is actually very simple and kind of fun. So we're going to say private sub search member. We're going to create a member search, not a member. And we want to search by the name as a string and this time I'm going to show you how to use the command parameters that uh, we created. And these beauties are nice for preventing SQL injection attacks. Uh, some databases have built-in protection against SQL injection um, or SQL injection. <clears throat> some databases don't. But what it does is it prevents users from tampering with the database uh, by injecting or, or using uh, prematurely terminating strings and using parameters does this automatically by bypassing you know it literally pipes that all of the text it can't break the string uh, pipes it into the query command so it's kinda hard to explain uh, definitely worth researching some uh, go look it up you can I actually have a tutorial from before, a SQL Server tutorial, where I actually demonstrate it uh, to some degree. So, um, so we want to add parameters and run our query. <clears throat> um, to do this, we're just going to say access.addParam, calling upon our method that we created um, to add parameters to our parameter list. And the way we generally do this in uh, most databases, I don't, I don't know if it's, it's certainly not a requirement, I don't think. This creates a database variable. Uh, these parameters are like database variables. So um, what I'm going to do is do at user for the name of my parameter and the value that I want to supply is my search string. Um, any search characters that I want to run through the database. However, I want to use wildcards, and to use wildcards, we're going to use a percentage, a percent sign, and then you concatenate on the text that you added. So in this case, it's going to be whatever is supplied in the name parameter. So we'll say name, and 
we're going to also end it with a wild card. So what this says is um, anything, ignore whatever, whatever the username starts with, doesn't matter, and whatever it ends with doesn't matter. As long as it finds names somewhere in that string, then it's a successful match. Okay. So now we can execute our query using this. And another beauty, uh, another beautiful thing about parameters is you don't have to break your query strings and add in, you know, like a text box value or uh, things like that. It makes it kind of sloppy. So I'm going to say access dot execute query. Whoops. And I'm going to say select. I only want to return uh, three different fields. You could just do star like we did above if you want to return all values. In this case, I'm going to do a little more, uh, a little more clean query here. I'm just going to select the password, username, and the email address. <clears throat> and after your final uh, line here, because I'm breaking the lines, make sure you put a space. Otherwise, you get a run on, and it'll look weird because I'm dropping down here just for you know because my screen's kind of small here I like to shorten my strings a bit so I'm gonna select from the members table also adding another space at the end of my string and for my filter I'm gonna say where username equals or actually I don't want equals I want to use the the like um, the like expression allows you to use wild cards it's sort of a fuzzier search so and here's where we call our parameter and we just call it by its name just like it was a variable and it can be called right inside of our uh, string as opposed to you know having to break the string and concatenate on values from other text boxes and whatnot. So much cleaner way to do this and it stuffs everything in there. It doesn't matter if the if the end user attempts to uh, hijack your application or uh, tamper with your database. They can't really do anything with that parameter being injected like that. So <clears throat> All right, so once we've got our query ready, um, we want to report and abort on errors similar to what we did above. So we can just say if, and we'll use our handy dandy little not empty on our access dot exception. I mean, if you wanted to even hard code that into this uh, not empty. This just allows you to use any text whatsoever, but realistically, we're only using it for uh, specifically for the access exception. You could just um, have a very basic, you know, if not empty. It's not very descriptive though. So, sorry. I always get off on tangents here and end up burning a lot more time than anticipated. Whoops, I already have then not empty if the exception is not empty then report it message box um, access dot exception and then um, if you use the colon sign that just uh, adds two lines that would ne normally be separated by pressing enter it just puts them on the same line those can be good and they can be bad. If they make your code more readable, then good. If they make it less readable, then bad. So, um, combo box. Uh, fill it. We want to put our results in the combo box, same as we did above. So, uh, you can just copy that little line there, drop it down because it's identical. And now we have our search. So let's go ahead and add that to our command button. I'm just going to double click on the button to generate our click event and I will call search member and the member that what I want to use for the name is txtfind.txt. So whatever we put in there it will search um, usernames 
that equal or contain that value because we're using the wildcard. So let's just give this a try. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to take, you know, I want to find everybody that has pizza in their name. Let's just try that. Hit find. Yay, it worked. So pizza dude worked. What if I wanted everybody that has an A in their name? Find. Boom, there they are. So it's working beautifully. We have a wildcard search. We don't even have to search for a full name. We just say, hey, I want to find all the dude, the dudes in here. Oh, it's just Pete's dude. I want to find all the dragons in here. Oh, it's just dragon girl. Uh, I don't want to search for anything. I'll just leave it blank. Oh, grabs everybody. So very simple searching. Um, and that's really, I think, all I wanted to show you in this particular tutorial. There are a number of other things that we can do uh, with our database, but this will get you started uh, working with Microsoft Access. And really hope this has been a helpful, t <laughs> a helpful tutorial for you. Um, uh, leave me comments, suggestions. Uh, give me thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down if you didn't, I guess. Um, appreciate you watching and supporting the channel. Thank you very much. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.